Hey guys, I'm back in Colorado. I just got back here um, from Eugene. Katerina went straight to Athens to try to get adjusted to the time zone um, so we can get training before her last competition in Zurich. So I will fly back there in a few days. I just thought in two days I could get these boxes built for these pilasters. So I'm gonna try and get these formed up and the rebar tied in them. So we'll see what we can get. All right, we got the first box put together, it wasn't so bad. I just wanted to kind of test it out and see how much space I had before I went. I have to have a minimum of three inches around each side. Obviously when you pour these cages the first time, they're gonna be an inch or two off. So you're just trying to make everything as centered as you can and still put enough outside. So I just made the box bigger than it was supposed to be. That way we don't have to redo anything or it's very hard to get the if the rebar is too close to the wood, it's really hard to vibrate around it, so, and get it consolidated. But, overall, went pretty well. I got the line drawn across to find center with them and build the form right in center so they line up. These things mostly go from, it's a big beam arch, and then we have four of those along on each side and those arches are the main support of the building. The end walls, they're not so supportive and they do their job, mostly sheer, I think, I don't know. But coming along, just gotta wrap one more around. I got these cut, I got all the boards cut for that side to build too. All right, got the boxes built. We have eight wires. Or five eighths rebar coming out of each side wall. There's four coming into this column. Everything in here and now we got to get bolts to fit in there as well. Should be fun. So unfortunately we have no video of me pouring the pilasters but he got it done and then came back to Europe and met up with me there. We finished our last couple of competitions and then we flew back to Colorado and first order of business was taking the forms off of the pilasters. Taking the forms of the pilasters took us quite a while because we were trying to save the pieces of wood so that we can use them in future projects. Okay, this is our first experience with ICF? Yeah. What's the company? Madura. We got it delivered this morning. And we went with Madura because... I don't feel like I'm doing this right. They have 18 inch tall pieces and 8 foot wide. So they're fastest to put together. Okay, I go to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like, especially if you do like one of these in first. Yeah, I think so. Are you excited? Am I what? Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> 
this is one of the corner pieces we're going to try to set the first one because we're like little ones and we can't wait. <laughs> we need to play with all the new presents. No, but we need to know to strategically oh. place our rebar. It's true. It's true. Oh, this is cool. Pretty cool design, huh? Yeah. Oh, those have different ones. What? That's a different one. Oh, the corner. <laughs> have a very good thing. <laughs> <laughs> What does the, where does the one go then? Does it have two two pieces over here? What does that one connect to? I don't know. There's two corners. I don't know what that's for. But that seems to be the one we want, huh? What do you mean there's two corners? Like there's three spots to put. I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of weird angled wall. That could work for. Mm. It seems like those black plastic pieces have spaces where the rebar can like go in. Yeah, it does. It sits in there. Yeah, so it's easy. Uh, yeah, that's but a... the problem is how it crosses this direction. Ooh, exciting! We might have to like cut or bend some of the rebar around these. Give an idea first. What? Well, what what you thinking? We, I mean, we need a string line across here to get where the end of wall needs to be. And I had things on that side and this side, but I had to move this side for the dump truck. So now we really need to like shoot lines and measure again. Oh, that's our favorite. For where these go before yes, we Yes, my them. favorite Look, activity. Let's go grab one more of these uh -huh. and place it and see. Uh. I can't wait to use the transit. I say we use the old one actually. It works so good. Are you hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that one has a nail that we didn't dig out. Yeah, oh, two nails. Yeah. What happened to you? You work with your wife. Do it. Why did nothing? I was very careful. Actually, I wasn't told about the nail issue until we were over there. Ah. Yeah. Otherwise, I do perfect work. Okay. Not to tell you too many things. You're an independent woman, and you like to do uh -huh. your own thing. Yeah, I don't, don't like to have a don't boss. Don't tell me. That's right. <laughs> Well, we are excited. It is possible that it's going to rain on us. Sorry, do it again. I missed it. <laughs> oh, I see. And then you put the little ones on the top to connect them. Yeah. Mm. Like to cross it. And this one. So there's, they're eight foot and it's gonna come to like here. And then we're gonna need to cut a piece that goes there. But we'll have to pull this eight footer back out and put that in there so that rebar. <laughs> okay, that's not so difficult. No, it's not so bad, but then you have to like fish the other rebars and we don't know where they're gonna line up. Are they under that black or over that black? Are they at the same height as those are? Then, yeah, these heights. So we will know once we put one of those there. So then we need one more piece. Why Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you put one of the long ones there? Because you need to end at a certain spot and if you can 
can stay in eight foot segments the whole way. You have the least amount of joints. Everywhere there's like a joint mm -hmm. that we cross over with something and not very far, we need to secure that joint. Especially with only two rows. So we need to like put a piece of wood like one of these. Here's okay, well I'm, sa I'm saying side. put another one. What are they? Eight, f eight feet you said? Yeah. Well, we'll put another eight footer there and, and then, then in the middle. Full, but then we'd have two. We will have two joints here too. No, we're gonna, the joint will probably be on the back of this. We'll run the concrete, the styrofoam is gonna run on the outside of this too. So this is also insulated. We'll take it and we'll cut it. What? How is that gonna work? Is the wall going to the side of this concrete? Yeah, the wall, the outside of the concrete lines up with the outside of the concrete. So the styrofoam will stick out of here. So we'll run that styrofoam to the path. And, stick and what? Like break the black parts inside it? Like no put them, no connect yeah, them. Like those ones that line up here. Oh. Should I just move this over and see where the bolt is? Yeah. Line for now? Because really we're a little bit wasting time not doing the It's going to be floating off of the ground so, so high. That's what I told you. The ground is one to two inches lower. So we have a few options. We can set these in here and like get them all put together in a wall so that we can kind of move it and put little pieces of block under each end because it's eight foot, it's stable by itself uh -huh. to get it level and then go. Or we can go get sand and dump sand in here so you can grade it and these fl sit flat on it. Oh, okay. So we just have to play for the first day and figure out what is the best. So I'll go around, I'll grab one of the small ones and see how high they go like this. Sure. It looks like this black is going to get in our way a little. Yeah. Cut it right here. here, let me go get one real quick. Okay, so I ran and grabbed one of the small ones and ow! All the rocks fell on my foot. I think we're gonna be good. We're just gonna need to trim five, one, two, three, four, five, six of the black things. These ones or the, the no, lower ones? This one right here. It's sitting on there, you see? Yeah. So I think if we'll just, I won't cut the whole thing. I'll just cut out a notch right here for the rebar to go around. You think it's bad for the... Okay, we figured out that all the rebars and all those boxes are not going to be at the exact same spot. So, um, every time it's going to be a surprise of what we're going to have to do. We kind of figured it out there. The bottom needs to go a little down and the top rebar needs to be bent a little up and it will feel perfect. But I'm sure every single one will be a little different. So, now we are going to, for the hundredth time, um plumb the building so the <laughs> so the, can you hear me <laughs> no. so that we know where that first piece exactly goes so that we can kind of measure from there uh we have started all of our measurements from there but then we had to move it or mitch had to move it when the concrete track came so now um we have to to do from there i think this is gonna be fun trying to figure out where the different ICFs are gonna fit with the rebar and then add more rebar inside. Do we have enough rebar for our whole building? What? How can do we have enough be rebar to hold like five buildings? Definitely designed for some Greek earthquakes. <laughs> So while it was going, Mitch bought an electric transit. Are they still called a transit when they're electric? Mm, I think it's called like a diode. Uh, yeah, it makes a lot more sense because it definitely works way better. 
So now instead of 30 hours to do this, how long is it gonna take okay, us? Okay, did you see in here? What did I see? Remember that thing we used to have to hang here? Uh-huh. And it would like blow in the wind? Look through here. Oh, you can almost see it with the camera. You see the nail. Oh yeah. Where is it? Down there, so it just shoots the thing down. Oh, okay, hold it, let me see. Oh, this is way more accurate. Yeah, crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> than a, ha a hanging wind <laughs> <b> the sock. <laughs> I blew over it three times, so it's good. And all you have to do here, <laughs> like rem rem <laughs> the old um, compass or whatever those things called levels, you just have to kind of get it within the range and it automatically levels. Ah, uh, magic. <laughs> so you now. Even when it's off, or you turn it on to do it. Yeah, even when it's off. Um, so now we put a stake up on that hill. So now we just have to find the stake here mm -hmm. and shoot line, and then I'll go over there and take a pencil and just mark the same line on the board. <laughs>